Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nisa signing in. Today I will be showing you how to build a DIY chicken coop. My husband Adnan one day just decided to make a sketch of the chicken coop and started to build it. And it turned out so perfect. I'm so proud of him. So let's get started. First thing first, we gathered all the materials we needed. We used 2x4s. 4x4 lumber and plywood and all of them pressure treated so he started to getting all the measurements for his desired height and this 4x4 will serve as the corners of the coop so we decided to cut our 4x4 posts uh, to 4 feet tall he used this tool to cut all the lumbers throughout the project After cutting all the lumbers to the desired measurements, he started to pre-drilling the lumbers so that it will be easier to screw them to attach to another posts. We wanted to build it inside the chicken run we already have. We wanted to put our chicken coop a little bit higher so that they can rest under the coop. And now it's time for leveling. And when it's come to leveling, he's just a perfectionist. After the leveling is done, it's time to fasten two posts together. We tried to screw them together in this way, but it was really hard to do it. Then he decided to do it by placing on the floor and it was much easier. And he was able to do it by himself without any help. For the front and back side of the coop, he attached two 2x4s to the 4x4 posts, one at the bottom where the bottom plate will be placed, one at the top where the roof line will start. Next step is to getting ready to attach 2x4s on the sides. So he is pre-screwing them just a little bit. That will make the job much easier. Now the base is ready, just using 2x4s and 4x4s. You 
Next day, he started to work on the roofing angles. He added two 2x4s to make the roofing angle. This is how it was looking like after attaching the roofing sides to the base sides. Then he attached two 2x4s to the roof sides so that it doesn't get saggy when the plywood is placed. Here he placed two more 2x4s to the base legs of the front and back side of the base. Two more across the base. This is to have the extra support for the base plate. Now he is cutting the pressure treated plywood for the base plate. By the time it was ready, the sun went down already, but we decided to put it in anyway. And this is how it looks after placing the bottom plates on the coop. After that, we went to Home Depot to grab some floor material for the coop and call it off for the day. These are the windows and the door we decided to use on the coop. For the windows, he attached one side to the 4x4 of the base and the other side with the 2x4s. He also screwed in the plywood on the roof. Since it was dark when he finished his job, so I came in the morning to check out his work. Now that the windows are attached and the roofs are placed, it just looks so perfect. And these are the nesting box we're gonna use for the chickens. We got it from Amazon and I will leave the link at the description box. Now it's time to figuring out the doors. Let's check out how we did it. First cut him based on the length and width of the door and fasten them together with the screws. It was a little wobbling at the time, but when he put back uh, plywood on the back side of the door, it was just perfect. Look how neat and perfect it's looking. Here he is fastening another 2x4 to hold the back wall of the coop. He added another one at the bottom and another horizontally. He's gonna add two pieces of plywood to make the back wall of the coop. After getting done with the back wall, he added the triangle for the roof wall at the back and in the front. Then he started working on making a hole for the vent. 
He is using a jigsaw here to cut the hole for the vent. These windows from Amazon just brings a nice touch to the coupe. These are 14 by 21 aluminum tempered glass windows. It can be opened halfway for the ventilation and it can be locked in three different positions. So he is almost done with the cut. We got this vents from Home Depot and it is functional. Ventilation in the chicken coop is very important so that the coop doesn't hold any moisture to build ammonia or frostbites. Next, he worked on the door. We decided to put automatic chicken door to our coop, which we got from Amazon. It is very easy to install and very easy to handle. He cut a piece of plywood for this door and attached it to the middle portion of the front. Then he took the measurement for the door and cut a hole inside the plywood. So the green light is to go up and red light means it's going down. Store opens and shuts off automatically on sundown and sunrise. It starts to blinking blue lights before opening and shutting off. With the door installed, we called it off for the day. And the beautiful full moon was up, so I couldn't help but add a clip in the video. Next day, we went back to Home Depot to get some brackets so that we can add the stopper and the roost bars on the coop. We used this bracket for the stopper so that we can remove it so easily and quickly for cleaning purposes or any other purposes we wish for. Then he attached two roost bars inside the coop. One is little higher and one is in the middle. Here I brought some pizza for the chickens. They loved it so much. The coop is coming along together so quickly. It's hard to believe that it was just a piece of woods a few days ago. He wanted to add some more support on the leg. He added a 2x6 and a 2x4 on the side. This cutting tool we ordered from Amazon because we want to add two more small vent in the front and back which comes with a built-in insect screen. Before we start painting the coop, he started sealing the coop so that it can give a protection from heat, air, rain, cold, small bugs, anything. 
you name it. Now that everything is almost done, we're gonna start painting the coop. We picked red and white color to paint the coop. So inside of the coop is done and it looks gorgeous. Now we are going to start painting on the outside. After getting done with the painting, it's time to put on the flooring material. So he just placed the flooring material on the floor then cut the excessive material and then stapled it down to secure with the base plate. Then we started working on the door. It was quite a struggle, but we were able to figure it out. Our coop is all done. Are you ready to get the final look? Let's check out together. And our most unique chicken coop is ready. This looks so perfect and gorgeous. The whole thing was built only in two weeks. And he took the weekend off. And he did like 90% work by himself. So this is the final look of the interior after everything is done. There are two stopper for the hemp padding. Two roosting parts. And two nesting box. So now it's ready for our chicken to move in to this new coop. But before that, one final step. So no one likes their coop to be smell bad. And to get rid of the smell, we added PDZ and the hemp bedding for the deep leader method. We did lots of research on them. It's supposed to keep the coop odor free. If you use hemp, Deep leader method, it can last up to a year. After adding the hemp bed, we moved in our chicken to this new coop. And they are happily moving around and looking at us through the windows. And we were lucky enough to get the first fresh egg from this new chicken coop right away. So before I finish the video, let me give you all a little recap of the work we have done.
Hope this video helped you guys a lot. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment below. Stay tuned until next time. This is Nisa signing off.